and so Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim continuation of our previous lecture epidemiology so today we learn about uses of epidemiology so Morris has identified even distinct uses of epidemiology these are one to study historically the rise and fall of disease in the population increase and decrease of diseases in a population. Second, community diagno diagnosis, planning and evaluation, evaluation of individual risk and changes. Fifth is completing the natural history of diseases. Six, searching for causes and risk factors. First, to study historically the rise and fall of disease in the population. So, it is well known that health and disease pattern in a community is never constant. There are fluctuations both over short and long period of time. So, different disease have different communities have different different pattern suppose if you go through Liari, they have a different pattern if you go through defense area it has a different pattern if you go through if, you, if, if, if we discuss about the karachi gulshan have different pattern of disease sometimes there is a, due to weather condition or some other ailment sometimes it increases or sometimes it is decreases so there is fluctuation both over short and long period of time. Epidemiology provides a means to study disease profiles and time trends in human population. By study of these trends, we can make useful projections in the future and identify emerging health problems and their correlates. Second, community diagnosis. One of the uses of epidemiology is community diagnosis. Community diagnosis generally refers to the identification and quantification of health problems in a community in terms of mortality and morbidity rates and ratios. It helps to identify individuals or groups at risk or those who are in need of health care. Planning and evaluation. Epidemiological information about the distribution of health problems over a period of time and place provides the fundamental basis for planning and developing the needed health services and for assessing the impact of these services on the people's problem. Evolution is an equally important concern of epidemiology. Any measures taken to control or prevent a disease must be followed by an evaluation to find out whether the measures undertaken are effective in reducing the frequency of the disease. <coughs> Sorry. Fourth, evolution of individual's risk and chances. One of the important tasks of epidemiologists is to take a, to make a statement about the degree of risk in a population. Completing the natural history of diseases, epidemiology is concerned with the entire spectrum of disease in the population. The epidemiologist, by studying diseases, pattern and community in relation to agent, host, and environmental factor is in a better position to fill up the gaps in the natural history of diseases than a clinician. Seven, Searching for the causes and risk factors. Epidemiology helps to identify the causes and risk factors of diseases. Terminology is used in epidemiology. One is infection, the entry and development or multiplication of an infection, infectious agent in the body of men or animals with infection, contamination, the presence of an infectious agent on a body surface, also on or in cloths, beddings, toys, surgical instruments, or dressing or substances, including 
water, milk and food. Infestation. Infested articles or premises are those which harbor or give shelters to animal forms, especially arthropods and rodents. Host. A person or other animal including birds and arthropods that afford substances or lodgment to an infections, infectious agent under natural conditions. Infectious disease, a clinically manifest disease of a man or animal resulting from an infection. Contagious diseases, a disease that is transmitted through contact, example, scabies, trachoma, leprosy, STD. Communicable disease, an illness due to a specific infectious agent or its toxic products capable of being directly or indirectly transmitted from one man to man, animal to animal, or from the environment, air, dust, soil, water, food, to man or animal. Epidemic. <clears throat> a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Endemic. It refers to constant appearance of a disease or infectious agent within a given geographic area or population group without importation from outside, you know, without importation from outside, may also refer to the usual or expected frequency of the disease within such area or population group. For example, common cold is endemic because somebody always has one. Sporadic. The word sporadic means scattered about. The cases occurs irregularly, haphazardly from time to time, and generally infrequent, frequently. The cases are few and separated widely in spaces and time that they show little or no connection with each other, nor a recognizable common source of infections, for example, polio, tetanus, herpes, or pandemic. An epidemic usually affecting a large population of population occurring over a wide geographic area such as section of nation, the entire nation, a continent or the world example influenza, pandemic and COVID-19. Exotic diseases which are imported, imported into the country in which they, they do not otherwise occur as for example rabies in UK. Zoonosis, an infection or infectious disease transmissible under natural conditions from vertebral, uh, vertebrates animals to men, may be anzootic or epizootic, example rabies, plague, bovine tuberculosis, anthrax, brucellosis, salmonella, etc. Epizootic, an outbreak epidemic of disease in an animal population, example anthrax, influenza, Rabies. A poor, a poor nithic. An outbreak epidemic of disease in a bird's population. An exotic, an endemic occurring in animal example and tracks. Noscomel infections. Noscomel infection is an infection originating in a patient while in a hospital or other healthcare facility. It denotes new disorders associated with being in a hospital. Opportunistic infection. This infection by an organism that takes the opportunity provided by defect in host. Defense to infect the host and hence cause disease. This organism includes herpes, simplex, cytomegalovirus. Itrogenic infections. And untoward or adverse consequences of a preventive, diagnostic, or therapeutic regimen or procedure that causes handicap, disability, or death resulting from a person's professional activity or from the professional activity of other health professionals. Surveillance. Surveillance has been defined as the continuous scrutiny. Scrutiny of 
the factors that determine the occurrence and distribution of diseases and other conditions of ill health. Eradication, termination of all transmission of infection by extermination of the infectious agent through surveillance and contaminant eradication is an absolute process and all or none phenomena restricted to termination of an infection from the whole world. It implies that disease will no longer occur in a population.